Hi, Tom here. In this week's Circle Line Art School drawing, I'll show you one way to draw a 3D looking maze using two point perspective. Start by drawing a horizontal line across your paper and then a vanishing point at each end of your horizontal line. All of the receding lines will go towards the, one of the two vanishing points. Next, draw two lines from the vanishing point towards the bottom center of your drawing. And then draw two more lines from each vanishing point so that you create a square in two point perspective. Within this square, we can draw the maze by repeating a number of lines and each of these receding lines are going to go towards one of your two vanishing points. And you can design the maze by changing the direction of the lines from one vanishing point to another. As this is a drawing of a maze rather than an actual maze that needs solving, I think it best to focus on the shapes that you're drawing to make the drawing look strong rather than make an interesting maze to solve. If you could do both, make an interesting maze and an interesting drawing at the same time, well then that's great. But if you need to choose just one of these as your focus, I would suggest that you choose to make the maze look interesting as a drawing. Once you have the basic shape of a maze in two point perspective, at the moment it's two dimensional looking. It has width and length, but no depth to it. So before we add any depth to the maze to make it look 3D, we could give the outline of the maze a double thickness. So just draw another line next to the lines of the maze to give it a thickness. Once you have done that, then draw a vertical line at the bottom base of the square outline of the maze. And then a line receding to each of the vanishing points to give a sense of depth to the outside of the shape of the maze. And then you could add a series of vertical lines to create the sense of depth to the two dimensional quality of the maze so that it becomes a three dimensional maze drawn in two point perspective. So the two point perspective are the two vanishing points on your horizon line. And then we're increasing the sense of depth by adding these vertical lines from each of the corners of the interior spaces of the maze that you've drawn. Once you've completed that, then you could consider adding some shading, some tone to your drawing. And to do that, and I'm going to shade in the one side of the maze structure with the darkest tone that the pencil could create. And then the other vertical side of the maze structure, I'll use softer pressure and create a lighter tonal value on that side. Once all of the shading is complete, you could consider adding to your drawing to extend the maze to all of the area below the horizon line using the same technique that we've used throughout the drawing of two point perspective. You could also add a shadow, a cast shadow on the darker side of the maze structure on the ground just below it so that there's a cast shadow and then triangle of shadow on any areas where the cast shadow can be seen by a corresponding edge. And then you could add perhaps a figure or two who are trying to solve the maze. I hope you found this drawing useful for your own drawings. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up to date with all of the drawings that I create. 
I post a new drawing each week. And also visit my website, circleandartschool.com, to find full details of my online drawing courses for beginners. Thanks for watching and see you next time.